it's seen as the gold standard. And the LCM SMS is what we use at Steel Health and Hormone Center because sometimes guys will come in, they'll be like, hey, I talked to my PCP, he said my testosterone was totally fine. But when we do an actual gold standard testosterone test, it can be several hundred points lower than what their PCP measured. So now let's actually look at it. What is the difference between immunoassay and LCM SMS and me personally? So I did this test on the exact same day at the exact same time so we can actually see the difference. Like, it, Let's get into that now. A little bit of background here. My goal is to try to drive my testosterone pretty damn high. So what I did is I took I usually do two shots a week. I do 0.4 on Tuesday, 0.4 on Friday, uh, MLs. But what I did is I took 0.8 and then like 36 hours later, I did the test because I wanted it to be super high. My goal was to actually be out of range on an immunoassay test, but I couldn't quite get it there. But this will actually show you the difference. So looking at my testosterone here, when we're looking at the immunoassay, you can see my, free, my total testosterone is 1413, which is way out of range. I understand that. Now we can talk about free testosterone. That'll be another video. Let's just look at total testosterone now. So 1413. But if you look at testosterone total MS, so like when they actually did the gold standard, it was 1293. So for me personally, it was 130 points lower. So roughly 10% lower between total testosterone from immunoassay and total testosterone LCM SMS. Now for me, obviously my my stuff is high. That's totally fine and this was deliberate. But for somebody else that comes in and let's say they're they're on the border. They went to their doctor and their doctor said, you're at 400, that's totally fine for your age. There's nothing to worry about. But we do an LCM SMS and they're actually like, 270 or maybe even more because like I said what I'm reading is between 10 and 30 percent for me personally it was 10 percent there could be a substantial difference between immunoassay and LCM SMS and that will actually indicate treatment so this is a real life example